the popular prediction right now is that it will be uh i forgot to change the game on the stream the popular prediction is that it will be uh plumeria which makes sense although i'm not sure if i'm ready to have an astra an astra mythic hero that is also a dancer because i'm gonna feel inclined to pull for that and i don't want to pull for anything right now because i want to save orbs <laughs> all right it came out while i was getting water let's see it is okay yeah that's unfortunate <laughs> the only question is if uh, which uh which element she is We got the porn fairy. We did it. I missed what element she was already. <laughs> Attack res rain! That's good. They're giving us the rain skills really quickly. A drained base. Well, she looks cool. <laughs> she is Astra? Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, red is really good, this banner, because it's going to have Plumeria, and she grants speed, too? Why is Micaiah here? <laughs> None of this makes any sense. We have three green mages running together. Yeah, red's really good. And Julian on gray. Shit. <laughs> this is what I didn't want to have happen. Okay. If I randomly decided to invest in the Porn Fairy, let's see how close I could get. Okay, yeah, I'm not even close. <laughs> I have 1,400 orbs. Alright, anyway. Yeah, not necessarily surprising. She grants speed, which is a pretty big deal, because right now on Astra, we only have Mythics that grant attack and defense. Right now, I only use... On Astra Season, I basically only use Laszlo now. Like, I used to use my Brave Micaiah more, but these days it's basically just Laszlo. And he doesn't really need the speed as much, so he doesn't need it. But if I decide to run other Astra teams, I might need, or I might want Plumeria. Alright, she is obviously a flying dancer. Every mythic hero has to be a flyer for some reason. It's getting a little annoying. I think all but one offense uh all but one offense mythic is a, is a flyer villa is the only offense mythic that is not a flyer it's just whatever i guess she'll just have a lot of attack and res that's what it looks like flower of plenty grants res plus three grants attack res plus three to allies within five rows and three columns centered on unit during combat I need to visualize that. Five rows and three columns. Okay, yeah. It's like Mila's effect and also Peony's effect. And, and those are good effects. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. It's good because she can grant buffs from like, from like really far back, from three spaces away. Actually really good for Lazo specifically because she can grant attack from three spaces away. Yeah, I know who will be the new popular Astro Mythic. No kidding. Dancer, gives speed buffs, gives passive buffs on attack and res, yeah. I mean, just the fact that she's a dancer on Astra. Ugh. Well, Peony's on light. That's the difference. Astra season is harder than light season. Almost always. Because Astra, like the mythics you're stuck using on Astra season just aren't as good. And the anima mythics you have to fight are just pretty strong, honestly, between Thracer and Lyph and, uh, Mirabilis. Juma is there too sometimes. <clears throat> yeah, Sabotage Speed, which is really good for a support unit in AR. She has, okay, so she has Sweet Dreams. Grants another action to target ally, and grants attack, speed, defense, res, plus three to target ally for one turn. And, influx attack, speed, defense, res, minus four on nearest foes within four spaces of target ally. Through foes next actions. I don't like how well she synergizes with Laszlo. I feel like I'm being attacked. Except for the speed buff. Laszlo doesn't need the speed buff, but <laughs> otherwise. Attack res push is just kind of there. She is a very good dancer, for sure. Peony and Legendary Azura are also very good, though. 
Attack Resurain. I can't believe they're giving us like so many res uh, so many rain skills so quickly. We've gotten three already. Three different ones. I think Brave Micaiah. Honestly, she can use Attack Res Rain, but I kind of want to get her Speed Res Rain instead. Anyway. But yeah, I mean, if you pull Plumeria, you probably shouldn't fodder her. <laughs> you should probably actually use her. I might pull for her, honestly, because if I get just one Plumeria, I can merge my Altinas together, and then I won't have to run two Altinas all the time in Astra. I don't know, though, because by running two Altinas, I can grant... Uh, attack plus six, because uh, Altina grants attack plus three. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. I want Astra season to be easier so badly. This last Astra anima season sucked. I'm basically stuck using Laszlo always now. Like my Brave Makaya team is is coming up short. Yeah. I think if you just want to spend orbs on red and just see what you get, like, red is really good. Uh, Selif is still relatively new, and he's good. You've also got... who else? Lif. Yeah, Lif. If nothing else, Lif is distant counter fodder, but at this point, you can get distant counter from, like, so many different units. I don't know if I would use Lif at this point. I'd probably just, like, put him on my anima team. Blue kind of sucks, right? Ephraim and Lucina are just kind of old. Lilith is really good. I actually like Lilith. He has a joint drive attack, which is good fodder. I think she is stuck just randomly having attack speed bond 3 instead of 4. But other, other than that, she's very strong. Ray is okay, I guess. Yulene is really good fodder. And then, uh... I don't know, I feel like if you wanted Leaf, you would have pulled for Leaf by now. And Duma's been around for so long, it's just kind of whatever. I don't know, people underrate Duma a little bit, I think. I think it's nice just having him being able to break one offense structure. That's a pretty powerful effect just by itself, even if he doesn't usually do anything otherwise. <laughs> it's pretty useful. Yeah, so I mean, in order of goodness, it would go red first, then gray, probably, then green, then blue. Yeah, green's not bad. I'm partial to green because it has Brave Micaiah. Uh, Yune is kind of whatever. I like Yune, but I don't think people are pulling for Yune anymore. Feels bad. Legendary Celica is stupid. <laughs> Legendary Celica consistently kills, like, whatever res tanks I try to throw at her. It's very annoying. I know that's the point, but it's still very upsetting. Her weapon has the effect that just does, uh, like, uh, inflicts damage equal to 25% of foe's res. Damn, this sucks. <laughs> I was just thinking how much I wanted Astra to be easier, and now I have to think critically about whether or not I want to pull for Plumeria. I hate thinking critically. It sucks. I gave her Flashing Blade on my defensive teams so she can meme on things with Miracle. Well, Legendary Celica? That is... an excellent meme. In the Seal Slot. Ah, okay, that makes sense. I think she comes with, like, Swiss Sparrow 3. So yeah, she's going to initiate with a million speed. I think I may have to just uh, go restraint on this one. Today, I finally hit 1,400 orbs, which is significant because I don't think I've ever had more than 1,400 orbs. 1,400 is the, the max I've ever gotten. And it's been funny because like over the past couple of months, I've just like I've gotten to around that number, then had to go back down. I cheated a little bit because I bought a, a form of soul, so definitely not free to play, but even still. But yeah, I mean, she's cool. <laughs> I don't have too much to say about Plumeria, if I'm being honest. This was kind of predicted. 
if anything, I can just speculate on like the next legendary hero banner and maybe even like the next uh, mythic banner that comes after that. Okay, so looking at the legendary and mythic schedule, yeah, in October, all we really know is that it has to be blue or green, which isn't very uh, helpful. Maybe it will just be Dimitri. Everybody's saying it'll be Dimitri in October as the new legendary hero, and like, I kind of agree at this point just because I don't know who else it'll be. They could do like, legendary Robin, who is separate from the one we already have. Yeah, I agree, I think it'd be cool. Whether he's a mage, or uh, if he has Levin Sword. They could give him Levin Sword, but... I think since there are so many sword legendaries already, you know, they might just want to give him a tome instead. Or it'll be something dumb, like Robin's Levin Tome. And yeah, that's a good point. For any kind of dagger legendary or any kind of bow legendary, they can just make them a different color. That's the X Factor. If we get legendary Soth in October, he could be on blue or green, you never know. Legendary Lelina with Armads. It's finally time in October. It'll be so spooky, you won't be ready. I guess one other thing I could say about uh, Plumeria is that if you pull two Plumerias, then... I mean, that's just really helpful, because you can just run two Dancers on your offense team. I know you could always do that with Peony, but it's just we've never been able to have... Asher dancers before, so you can just have two now. You can have two Plumerias, and with their perfs, they can grant attack and res plus six from three spaces away. Yeah, for a while now I've wanted Astra season to be easier, so I will, I will think about this. I'm still leaning towards not pulling for a Plumeria, especially since like I've had horror stories like. When Yune came out, it took me 500 orbs to get one, so I might want to avoid that. Alright, well I think I can end this uh, this reaction now. It's only been 15 minutes, but there's just not that much to say. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. I appreciate you hanging out.